Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm going to show you how to make a stand for just a couple dollars that you could use outside on a patio, deck, in your garden, and even in the house for your house plants. It's so easy to make, and it's so versatile, you can use it for so many different things. So here are the baskets you get at the dollar stores. You can get them at a lot of different types of stores. Check them out. They're usually in the stationery department or houseware department. These work fantastic for stands. You'll need two. Now I want you to see this. They do now make two sizes. And sometimes at the dollar stores, you don't have a choice. It's whatever they've got. Now I picked up, as you can see, the one that's a little bigger. And then I've also picked up the one that's a little smaller. I'll give you a hint on this. I use the smaller for the base. We're going to put it together like this. That's all there is to it. This way I have a bigger top to put a bigger container, but you could do it the opposite if you want. And then I've got the smaller one on the bottom because this gives me more choice of what container I want to plant in. And now all we're going to do is attach it. They come usually in black and white. If you're using it for house plants and you've got white decor in the house, white would look really attractive. Outside in the garden, I tend to use black, but either one is great. The other thing about these stands is the airflow. Because you've got such great airflow and they're so easy and light to move around, you can use this on a wooden deck because there's gonna be plenty of space there in air so your wood won't rot. It's no different than just having your deck out in the elements. Instead, you've got that. So let me show you real quick how we put this together and you're gonna go, my goodness, this is the easiest thing to do. Now I'm gonna use zip ties to put it together. But the thing is we need three hands because something needs to hold it. So I start with some sort of wire and this is like a bread tie. So I can put it in and then twist it on and put it exactly the way I want it. Doesn't matter, you don't have to be that particular, but let's get the bread tied on. I hope you can see it. Let's see, I'm, I'm not sure how the camera is. And once we get that tied on, then we'll have basically our third hand holding it as we put on zip ties. You can use as many zip ties as you want. They're so cheap. I tend to use three. You can leave the bread tie too. You see how the bread tie is on there? Now I can lift this but it's, it is basically my third hand. Now I buy these at just a, it's kind of a variety store I've got. It's not a real dollar store, but the dollar store sells it too. And they come all rubber band in different colors. I cut the top off. They've got rubber bands across them and I put them upside down back in the container. Why? Because now I can just pull out the one I want and they're still all tied together. See, that's just the way I do it. Let's get this zip tied together and then we can set it up with a flower pot. Now the hardest thing about this is it's awkward. That's all because you got to get your hand on one side and your hand on the other and slip the zip tie through and pull it. Now you can use bread ties, wire, whatever you want to use to put this together. I mean, if you want to tie it with string, do that. But I have found it's easier to use a zip tie and the bread tie as your third hand. Now. Just listen to this for a moment though. If you do not have zip ties, but you do get the baskets, you can just use wire. Why? Because the bread tie or the wire or the zip tie is not holding any weight. Think about this for a moment. There's no weight. When you go to move it, you're going to lift the top one and pick it up and move it wherever you want. The only weight it's holding is the wire basket underneath, which is nothing. It, it's like a feather, though it's strong enough to hold some pretty heavy pots. Now here, I kind of sped it up so you can see all three zip ties are now in. I use three different colors so you can see it. I just cut off the little tails and all I have to do now is just take the tag off and that is it. I know we have a lot of new gardeners, so let's just go over the zip ties real quick. There is a right way and a wrong way. You want to go behind the flat end, as shown above here. If you go the other way, it just won't zip and you'll have to start all over. But that's how it will lock. Let me show you one more thing. See how I've been putting the smaller basket on the bottom and the bigger on top? So I have to put the zip ties through the two bases. But when you've got them both the same size, there is another way to do it, which will be easier. You won't have to reach your arm through, though I do still put one in the center. And here I use the small zip ties, which are cheaper. Now with the bases being exactly the same, all you have to do is just put it together 
and just sit on a chair or wherever you want to sit and then slide it through the bottom as close as possible. Try to get to the bottom of the, you can call it a pyramid or a triangle. Otherwise you might pull on some of the loops. You, you'll get the feel of it. And even if you did it differently, it will still work. You just don't want to pull on the thin wire. Try to get the base together as close as possible. Remember, there's no weight on the bottom basket other than what it's holding on top. But when you lift it, the only weight on the bottom basket is the weight itself. And I do at least three, and sometimes I still put one in the center. You just cut the little tags off because you don't want them poking anything. Now you're ready to drop in your planter of any type. And you can grow lettuce and herbs and all kinds of stuff in these baskets. And now you've seen the two methods. You put together a stand that's less than $3 there, and it's going to work beautiful, and I think it's very attractive, and the hardest thing now is deciding what you want to put inside. What color trash can that you can also get from Dollar Tree, or you can use a flower pot of your choice. And being so easy to make and so cheap, I have been sitting on my deck on many days making these stands because I'm going to grow vegetables in them, as well as flowers for the hummingbirds and, well, for myself, too. So here are the baskets. There's the black one. There's the white one we just put together. And I wanted to show you this. If you wanted something fancier, Walmart's got this. And I bought one of them because it's $7. And it's not a bad price. It's really sturdy. I mean, look at it. It's kind of like a wrought iron metal. Also perfect for a deck. And you could put anything on that as well. I'm thinking of putting a container like that and planting a tomato in it. So it's just another thing you could look at if you wanted something with a little bit more class. But I really think the wire baskets look great. Look at them. Now, the reason I like the wire basket better than putting two pots together, and I do do that as well, you've seen my videos, is those pots, even though that one's probably three years old, they can crack and then it can go down. But it's been holding up really good. And I've got some bulbs and flowers in here. And I've got two pots put together, same fashion like I did that one. This one's got lettuce growing, it's got celery, a tomato came up, and then it's got tree colored growing. So there's a lot we can do with this. But I wanted to share this with you because you can go to the 99 cent store, get some in as well. Keep an eye out because the last time I picked them up there, they were 99 cents and they had the bigger ones. Check out Dollar Tree, they get them in too. Like I said, the only difference is they sometimes get the smaller ones in, but it doesn't matter. And if you wanted to, something different completely is you could use a wire basket. Same concept, but you can get these that I make the bird feeders out of. It's a wire tray. You can wire that on with the zip ties, and then you could use that instead to elevate some plants. Here is my tomato plants growing in a cup caddy, but you could put a square container with flowers or vegetables or whatever you want. I just love the airflow underneath. Now, if you had a pot on top, you could put another pot underneath and catch water. If I put the hole, the, this one I think has holes already, but if I put the holes directly, let me see if I can get it out underneath the pot, okay? Like I said, this one's got uh, holes in it. Now, I could put something under there to catch the water and I could rewater my plants that way. But there's a lot of things you could do. Think out of the box, that's what I always tell you. And we could get away so cheap and not just cheap, but beautiful as well. But of course, if you're into gardening food, you can pick up those dish pans for like $1.25. And with my power unit here, I'm using a soldering iron. Of course, you can just plug it in. I'm making holes, but I'm leaving it about an inch and a half up. I'm putting some whatever I found on the ground, uh, some grass, some leaves, and I even had a banana, and then more soil from other totes. And here I'm putting in four lettuce. I'm putting them on each corner, but in the middle, you'll see what I'm gonna do for lift. I'm just gonna put a cup in there. I'm gonna put some compost, which means some broken down wood chips. And that's gonna hold up what's coming next will be my tool. A little bit of compost around the lettuce as well that I yanked out of another pot because there were so many. A good watering. And now we're gonna cover it with tool because the tool will protect it from insects and the cup will hold the tool up. And if I have to lift it, I can lift it up later. But now with that tray attached to the wire basket, the wire tray, I can sit this on there and I can be growing lettuce off the ground where hopefully Zoe, my little Yorkie, won't get into it or anything else and we should have lettuce pretty soon. And there it is, can't beat that. So you can use these baskets for not only flowers, 
think out of the box. And remember, you can get any tray that will fit in there. You can use a shoe box in the square one as well, any trash can, any flower pot in the round one. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And boy, I'll be eating some lettuce, won't I? It just came up. Bye-bye, everybody. I have to say here, this is always amazing. I said, oh, I need another clip as I'm working on the video. I go running out, look at my socks. I'm freezing. I pulled my socks over my sweatpants and she's shaking off the rain and it is raining, but nope, she's gonna get in that camera shot. Oh my gosh, she's so funny.